Stanford University. We really want to understand how birds are able to do the things that drones can't. Specifically, we want to know the exact shape of the wings as they fly. They change the shape of their wings, called morphing, in ways that we don't quite understand. I've created a system that will create a 3D rendering of the bird as it flies. We have this very nice stripe pattern that we project on the bird. At the same time, we have a high-speed camera that is filming how these patterns change over time. The projector is sending light, which hits the bird and reflects back. And essentially what's happening is a triangle is being formed. We're sending light, receiving light, and we can calculate the distance based on that. You can reconstruct the exact orientation of this line on the wing. And by doing this, we can actually slow down the motion of the wing and reconstruct it in 3D. Now to make this work really well, we need to be able to see the light that's projected on the wing. And it's a little bit like going to the movies. That's why we actually study this with white birds, because they form a perfect flying projection screen. One of the cool things that we studied on takeoff of birds is the angle of attack. Basically the angle of the velocity of the air hitting the wing. In most normal aircraft, the angle of attack is about 10 degrees. But birds actually, on takeoff, use about 50 or 60 degrees angle of attack, which is quite surprising because it seems like it's kind of inefficient. It's just mind-boggling. And in the beginning, it did not make much sense to us, but then we realized, oh wait, they're switching the role of lift and drag here. Now drag all of a sudden is helping to support body weight and lift is rotated forward to propel the bird to generate trust. And that enables them to not only push up and overcome gravity, but accelerate forward. They're actually able to generate more total force on liftoff. Moving forward, we plan to use this technique in the wind tunnel that we have in our lab. Specifically, we're interested in how birds adjust for turbulence. Birds are great at what they do, and so we want to copy them and then even improve if we can. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.